welcome everyone today i will start the linear equation in two variable chapter from four from your ncrt book so now see in linear equation i will explain this word from backward first of all variable i think this variable you did in class eight variable means the unknown values which can be expressed by alphabets like x y z u t all these are called variable okay for example suppose a is the area of a circle which is equals to pi r square okay a is the area of the circle is equals to pi r square where r is the radius okay so here a as well as r are the variables because we don't know this value okay so uh, in um, algebra you know that uh, algebraic expression in which you will use the alphabets are called variable okay and equation means equation means it's simple uh, like see 2x minus 6 equals to 0 so i have used here equal to sign okay so this is called equation okay suppose in, in any algebraic expression if equals to sign is there then it is called equation okay and next uh, see linear linear means uh, the power of the variable highest power of the variable okay is called degree if degree is one then it become linear okay if one degree polynomial polynomial is there then this one degree polynomial is called linear polynomial because polynomial chapter you did okay so here linear equation in two variable now uh, see in this example there is only one variable suppose uh, 2x uh, plus 3y is equals to 12 okay here you see uh, power of the variable is 1 and this is also 1 okay so but in this case x and y are two different variables that's why it is in two variable so this is the example of linear equation in two variable okay so uh, see one thing here the degree of the variable is one means power is one that's why it is called linear equation okay and since it containing two variable x and y so it is called two variable okay now see how to solve as first of all i will recall your class 8 concept that this linear equation 2x minus 6 is equals to 0 is a linear equation in one variable so i will solve it you know how to solve this in very simple way 2x is equals to this minus 6 will go that side plus 6 so x equals to 6 by 2 you cut it then x equals to 3 so x equals to 3 is the solution of this equation x minus 6 equals to 0 okay why it is a solution you just see in place of x if you put 3 then it should come 0 see 2 into 3 minus 6 is equals to 6 minus 6 equals to 0 this is satisfying no it is coming 0 it means that x equals to 3 is the solution of this equation and one thing you have to keep in your mind it has only one solution it is the linear equation in one variable why because variable is only x this 2 and 6 are constant so in this case you will get the uh, got the value of x is 3 no value of x is 3 so 3 is only the one solution you can do any process you will get only the solution of this linear equation is only 3 it has only one solution okay but now you see what is the solution of this equation solution of this equation means the value of x and y which satisfy this equation for example you see uh, simply um, suppose i will put here uh, see 2x plus 3y is equals to 12 okay now you see i will put x equals to suppose uh, 3 and y equals to 2 you just put in place of x 3 okay in place of x you have to put put 3 and in place of uh, y it is 2 so you see 2 into 3 plus 3 into 2 is equals to 12 suppose okay so 6 plus 6 is equals to 12 so 12 equals to 12 no it is satisfying it means that x 3 comma 2 this first value will represent x and second value will represent y so this is the solution of this equation okay same way see this is one solution i will put another suppose x equals to 0 and y equals to suppose uh, 4 now you put this value see 
टू इंटू जीरो इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स यू पुट जीरो प्लस थ्री इंटू फोर इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व सो इट इज कमिंग ऑन ऑट जीरो प्लस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व मीन्स ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व सो दिस विल ऑल्सो सेटिस्फाई इट मीन्स दैट जीरो कम आर फोर इज ऑल्सो द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन ओके सो हियर आई टोल्ड यू दैट इफ द लिनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल इज दियर देन इट हैज ओनली वन सोल्यूशन Apart from this, you will not get any solution. But here in this linear equation in two variable, I am getting this and this. Okay, three comma two is the solution of this, and zero comma four is also the solution of this. Okay, so same way you see. Again, see, we'll try. Suppose uh, x equals to six and y equals to zero. You put this value here. So see. Two into six plus three into zero is equals to twelve. So six to the twelve plus zero equals to twelve. No, so it means twelve because twelve. It means the six comma zero is also the solution of this equation. Okay. See, one solution is three comma two. Another solution is zero comma four, and another solution is six comma zero. Again, you can try. You will get many solution. It means that in a linear equation in two variable. If one uh, one equation is there, this is only one equation. You can find infinite many solution. Okay, It's just like this, I have shown here three only. So uh, this is the concept of linear equation in two variable. Okay, again one thing, the standard form, standard form of linear equation in two variable. Suppose uh, see uh, this a x plus b y plus c equals to zero. Is the is the standard form of linear equation? Okay, where C A B and C are uh, real number, or you can write constant also. Okay, x is the coefficient of uh, sorry, a is the coefficient of x, b is the coefficient of y, and c is constant. And this is called standard standard form of linear equation. In two variable, okay, where a is the coefficient of x, b is the coefficient of y, and c is fully constant. Understand? So suppose one equation, uh, equation two x, three uh, uh, y is equals to five. This is not in the standard form. If someone will told you to write this in the standard form, then it's very simple: two x minus three y minus five equals to zero. Or if you want to write exact in this form, then this two x plus three into y. Plus minus five is equals to zero. So this is the standard form. Now you see, compare here. What is the value of a? Is the coefficient of x? So here, here, a equals to two, and um, b equals to minus three, and c equals to minus five. If you compare with this, okay. So in this way, you can write the linear equation in, into standard form. Again, another example. Suppose x by two plus y by three is equals to One. So, if you want to write this into the standard form, then you have to take LCM six. Okay, two and three LCM is six, no? Two one ja, three ja, three one ja. So six, two, three times it will go three into x, three x, three two ja, two y is equals to six. Oh, sorry, one. So three x plus two y. If we, it will go on that side by cross multiplying, it will become six. Now you six c three x plus two y minus six equals to zero. So now you have to compare with a x plus b y plus c equals to zero. This is coming in the standard form. So here a equals to three, b equals to two, and c equals to minus six. Okay. So in this way, uh, you can find the coefficient coefficient a b c from standard form by making like this okay so in this uh, here we will do the solution of uh, uh, linear equation by graphically also okay in graph also we have to do and few story problem are there word problem that also we will try to do okay so just uh, now you can start exercise uh, 4.1 okay thank you